What is up, you fucking fuckwads? Once again, it's time for another epic comic book haul. I don't even know what week it is anymore. <laughs> These are all just like mostly like new books. It's starting to get like way out of hand. Anyways, let's get right into it. It's been a long damn time since I've seen a graphic novel size book come out. Anyways, this is Eden number one from Aftershock. Uh, went ahead and picked up a 1 in 10 ratio variant. Had to, because it's uh, pretty fucking epic. Has something to do with a tattoo artist tattooing on a chick and something, something. Tattoos like disappear after a certain amount of time. You know, whatever, whatever. Uh, I didn't dig through Backbends much, but a couple books I did get Secret Invasion Dark Rain. It's a one shot. Thought it was pretty cool, so I grabbed it. It was four bucks. Uh, <laughs> probably the weirdest book of the day it totally like freaked out the, the dude at the desk he's like what in the hell is going on in this book and I was like yeah man you tell me that's the reason why I grabbed it <laughs> Edgar Allan Poe's Snifter of Terror season 2 that's a classic homage cover to uh, Captain America this is so sweet uh, I went ahead and threw in one of my clear backing boards so you can see the back because it's a just like almost a virgin variant cover of the original um, some other stuff I grabbed off the shelf that's not new but it was just there so I grabbed it because uh, let's be honest this is going to be the next uh, something that's killing the kids Department of Truth Number two, third print, oh, Ronnie, Ronnie. Uh, Department of Truth three, third print. Department of Truth six, second print. Uh, another book I just randomly grabbed because it's from Boom and I grab almost everything Boom. Things that make you go Boom. Um, Eve number one I mean can't go wrong with a little girl and a teddy bear so of course I grabbed a, a couple variants some sort of ratio I'm not sure exactly what it's a version variant and this was one by an artist I'm really big on in Hugh Lee I don't know how to say his name right I know it's horrible I should know. Anyways, moving on. Johnny Zero number one. Or excuse me, Jenny Zero number one. That's highly offensive. Johnny Zero. Uh, Jenny Zero number one, Party Monster. Uh, this is supposedly about super famous, like best kaiju fucking monster killer in the world. She's a party animal. So it's like after she killed kaiju, she just like fucking parties. You know, all kinds of alcoholic beverages and Jesus Christ pills uh, <laughs> something else that was like really weird that like caught my eye I'm big on independence always have been Marjorie Finnegan temporal criminal apparently a little bit I, I gathered I didn't read the whole thing I just flipped through it and like <laughs> she's pretty much a time traveler that goes back in time with uh, weapons and uh, just still shit and her like fucking sidekick is like a fucking talking head <laughs> yeah uh, a variant copy of that Marjorie Finnegan another the good Asian number one that borderline sounds racist but whatever image, I guess you know what you're doing. Who knows? 
Um, I haven't read it yet. I, I heard this is supposed to be pretty good though. So of course I picked up two copies of the variant. Uh, we Live number five, second print. There's some wild shit going on with this book, but I'm not gonna get into that right now. Slide this to the side. To the side! Get out of my face. Put all that nonsense. Ooh, another stack of books. Ooh, the slide to the cloud. You don't want to see them things. Come on, man. X-Men. Curse of the Man Thing. Just seen something cool to grab. Uh, something that's not new, but I always grab it every time I see it on the shelf. And... I can't say enough about it, really. Star Wars The High Republic Adventures number one. First appearance of all three of these characters, and all three of these characters are on the cover, so something happens, something happens. You're gonna wanna have more than one of these. Enough said. Uh, one of the biggest books that came out this week, War of the Bounty Hunters. Bubble fit, bubble fit. This backpack's got jets if you didn't know. Um, variant copy. Splat, splat, splizat. Um, another copy of that. Uh, one of the big variants I heard a few people talking about. The Bubble Fit Black Armor variant. Which I was amazed. I went to three different stores. Uh, fairly early early in the morning and only found two copies and it was not a ratio it was open order but nobody ordered it yay cool deal badass cover let's not order it because nobody wants it anyways any act number three any act number three Wellsville Wellsville Heard something supposed to be going on there. I don't know. Anyways, this movie's out of the way because I'm sick of looking at it. One of the other big books that was going on was Heroes Reborn number one. Um, caught my eye with some of the variants. I didn't buy any of the regular covers. The uh, Blade Super Villain variant. Fisto, super villain. Mephisto, <laughs> super villain. Uh, this one was a art germ variant, which I don't know how DC's not going to sue Marvel over this because I'm pretty sure that's Wonder Woman. Anyways, uh, this was a one in fifty. A, ratio and forgive me I cannot remember the artist's name but he does cool work all his covers look like this it just looks tribal almost Native American it's pretty fucking neat anyways while I was out I actually picked up a slab this CBCS 9.8 Iron Fist number one from 2017. Uh, it was a uh, Frankie's Comics, yeah, Frankie's Comics exclusive. 250 copies, um, all nine eights, of course. Um, man, fucking. It's a Gabriel Del Auto cover. I bought it just because it's beautiful. Um, a lot of stuff I buy now, I've mentioned it more than once, and I'll keep mentioning it. I'm buying covers now. Del Auto, man, fucking badass. And 75 bucks. I 
I always say anytime you can get a slab copy of something for less than a hundred, if it's a nine eight, oh my goodness, grab it, just grab it. I mean, grab it. And last but certainly not least, something that showed up in the mail the same day as New Comic Book Day. This will be in another video. This is a unique, unique item. So anyways, uh, yeah. Check out my other nonsense if you want to see what's in here. Should be see-through. Deuces.